Hey, Nash, what you make tonight? Well, Tim, since I'm eating one of your old shoes, clearly you don't feed me well enough. Why don't you earn some beads and make me some jambalaya? Pretty sure that's not how that works. But all right, let's make some jambalaya. Welcome back to Chaos Kitchen. So today we're going to make one pan jambalaya. Something delicious. It takes 20 to 30 minutes or less. And it'll make you feel like you're on Bourbon Street with some beads, but you didn't have to show your... Uh, we're going to take kind of a traditional uh, sausage and shrimp jambalaya recipe. And we're just going to punch the flavor up considerably. So that being said... Let's go. First up, let's chop up some bacon. Now let's throw that bacon into a cold pot, pot, pan. I don't know. I'm using kind of a wide, slightly shallow pot. So again, you want to start your bacon in a cold pan or cold pot so that, uh, we get better fat rendering. Turn the heat up to medium, and we let that go until it gets a little bit just shy of crispy. All right, when your bacon's about 90% to where you like it, go ahead and pull it, but leave the grease. So use like a slotted spoon or spatula like this. This guy, technically I think it's a fish spatula. So this recipe calls for sausage and shrimp. Technically, you can use uh, your OG traditional would be andouille sausage, which we are going to use. But your number two choice would be chorizo. So we're going to go with both. Here we go. So here we went with the ground chorizo. Our andouille is already cooked, so we'll get into that in a second. But uh, just cook this until it's cook through, and then you're gonna pull that as well. Next up is our andouille sausage. Now this is already cooked, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice this into, I guess you call them like coins, and then we're gonna throw them in to get a sear on each side of each coin. So here we go. And once your sausage slices are brown on both sides, just go ahead and pull them, set them off to the side. Now it's time to cut our veggies. So we got our mirepoix, holy trinity. I don't know, one includes carrots, the other one includes peppers, but either way, we got uh, onions, celery, green peppers. So here we go. Now think again, bite-sized pieces, folks, so. Now for your onions, you could use, I'm using some, some yellow onions. You could use yellow, red, it doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. Any would be acceptable. And the recipe calls for a green pepper. Typically you'd use a green bell pepper, but I am not a fan of green bell peppers. So I'm using a poblano. Or two. So, same way we'd cut any pepper. Slice off the sides. And then you can get rid of this. No seeds, no top, no membranes. And we take all our chopped up veggies and toss them back into the same pan. Once your vegetables start to soften, Make a little little home for our garlic. And we put in about three to four cloves of fine chopped garlic. Let that cook until fragrant, about 45 seconds. And then we stir it in. Ooh. 
You can see our veggies are starting to get a little charred as they get softened. That's what we call flavor, folks. And at this point, we throw back in our sausage, our bacon, and our chorizo. Mix that all up. At this point, it's looking beautiful. It's smelling amazing. So let's go ahead and add a little spice. You could use Old Bay. I'm using this. Tony, Tony Chichere's. Not sponsored, not pimping it, just using it. So about a tablespoon of this. Stir that around, let it toast. Oh my God, it's amazing. Just for about 30 seconds. Then we're gonna add a cup of white rice. Stir that around, let that toast, and mix with all the, all the oil and all the seasoning. Once your rice gets a little bit of color from the seasoning and a little bit of toasting and all of that, all the juices from all that delicious meat we put in there. <laughs> now we go back in with two cups of chicken broth. You could use vegetable broth. You could literally use anything. It'll taste good. Let me stir that around a little bit. Now we stir in two to three diced Roma tomatoes. Stir that in. We want everything to get the flavor of everything else we've put in here already. Wait till we come up to a little boil here. You can see the bubbles. Bubbles, yay! Now we're gonna put a lid on and we're gonna let that cook with the lid on for 10 to 15 minutes. So now that our 15 minutes is up, look at this. Oh, look at this. Everything is cooked beautifully. Our rice is cooked. Everything is cooked together, bringing all the flavors from each component to eat all the different parts. So now the last thing we have is shrimp. Now look, normally I would probably use some 1620s or some sort of big shrimp, but these little shrimps are all I got. So that's what we're using. Throw those in there and you just kind of want to, I don't know, put them under the rice a little bit. You turn your heat down to low at this point those in there and look if you want to use tail on go for it uh i have a weird thing like if if it's a dish i'm gonna eat with a spoon or a fork i don't want my shrimp to have tails on them i don't want my crab legs to have shell on them anyways that's just me being weird so yeah whatever you got throw it in there throw some shrimp in there put our lid back on five more minutes and we're good to go with our five minutes up kill the heat Ooh, look at this. What did I promise you? Perfectly cooked shrimp. That's what we got. Perfectly cooked everything. All right. Now we're ready to plate. And with this one, plating is easy. Take a giant spoon, scoop some into a bowl, good to go. Time for a bite. Cheers. Mmm. I mean, we got the bacon, the chorizo, the sausage, the shrimp, the rice, the veggies, the seasoning. I've never even been to New Orleans, but I know I love jambalaya, and this is amazing. So go make this. It is just an explosion of flavors, like a party in your mouth. Like, oh, like a Mardi Gras party in your mouth. Let's see what Nash thinks. Hey, Nash, come here. Sit. Good boy. All right. Here you go. Some jambalaya. Okay, go for it. Nash approves. I approve. No matter how you slice it, this dish is amazing. So go make this. And you can, you know, add or 
delete any of the ingredients we put in here and it'll still probably be good. But it's so easy, you know, less than 30 minutes, one pan, good to go, and it's delicious. So that being said, if you could take a second, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, I would really appreciate it, it mean a lot. Uh, and that way you'll get notified whenever we drop a new video. And uh, just remember, cook more, eat better, embrace the chaos. That's it for now. Thank you. Peace.